Uh, this vehicle is the ELC Even 90. This is a French Tier 8 light tank, and that guy's an a-hole. What an effing... Thanks a lot, buddy. Oh, you're going to snipe at the tanks I spawned? Good job. You're super smart. Oh, okay, so if you play this vehicle, the ELC Even 90, you will get rammed by your teammates at the start of the game all the time. Nice. See how they cheated? So I usually spot where these two rocks are because uh, you've you're, you got hardness on both sides. I want to snipe at that guy. He's outside of uh, spotting range. Watch this amazing accuracy. Oh. You know, it's not the greatest what I did, but that's actually pretty cool. I see a T26E. Look at that amazing turning ability. I see a T26E4. It looks like I won't be able to hit him unless I uh, engage in a gun elevation maneuver. So that's what I'm going to do. And even just spotting him could work out really well for me. He's got to be right there. Uh, when you do a dangerous spotting run, obviously you want to uh, be near the buildings. His armor is not that great. It's only double doubled up and uh, superior to all other similar tanks. So I did get some spotting damage. It looks like I got uh, 360 spotting damage. Uh, we are losing. The score is 2-6. to six. You can spot from over here because, believe it or not, depending on where you are, your allies on the ridge behind you, they can actually shoot at some of the vehicles on the other side. So go for it, buddy. No. You see I got spotting damage on the TS-5. That would have been the shot of the game. I'm targeting him so that I get the additional uh, seconds of uh, from the designated target. The, the additional seconds of spotting time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire three laser accurate shots. Take him out of the game. There goes shot laser accuracy number one. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call this a uh, why don't we run maneuver. These guys really need me to spot, and I need to get some to eat, so we're going to have to fight over this. Yeah, you suck. Stop moving. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, French versus Germans. Uh, this could be a good time to reload, but I'm not so bright. I gotta wear shades. Okay, I'm going for the reload. I'm strongly considering pulling back. I'm the type of guy that I pull out uh, real fast and frequently. That's my um, modum operandus, modus, modus operandus. Oh, this is sad over here. This guy's going to get beaten. Okay. My sixth sense didn't go off. Okay, so that means that uh, I don't have sixth sense.
Going to do some zigzagging. We got to support the WZ, so I got to find targets that he can shoot at. Looking for lots of solid objects. If I had one more second, I would have weaved behind the dead tank, swung around, killed the Progetto, spotted uh, the Burrasque. The SU would have killed the Burrasque. Uh, the WZ would have killed the T-44. I would have hunted down the enemy SPG, and then I would have hunted down the Kanaan Jagdpanzer 105, and we would have won the game. So I did get 700 damage, and I got 1,200 spotting. That's actually going to be pretty good towards my first gun mark. Uh, it's at like 62% or something, so I expect it to go up to 63 No, it's going to go up to like 62.5%. I'm what you call a half percenter. Oh, look at that. He's got three gun marks. That means that he could easily take these guys out with one shot. I have a, a new gun mark idea, which is to, two additional gun marks averaged over 500 games uh, so that you really got to be one of the top players. I also have, uh, uh, what was it called? Um, marks of Dishonor was another idea I had. Oh, somebody bumped them. So the mark of dishonor uh, would be for dishonorable gameplay. They better incorporate it in the game. I am going to get a gun mark. So if you watch for another uh, <coughs> 10 minutes to 50 minutes, you'll see me achieve a gun mark on this vehicle. 61.5%. I don't know. It was just at 61.5. That was 1,200 spotting. 